Hello friends, I am Rahul and you are watching Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss the concept of stable and unstable equilibrium with the help of the potential energy curves. So suppose uh, we know that uh, for a conservative force field the force F is the negative gradient of the potential energy U. F can be expressed as the negative gradient, negative gradient of the potential energy U. Or more simply, for one dimensional case, F can be written as minus du by dx, right? This. So, if uh, the potential energy U for a system is given to us, we can easily calculate the force for uh, any point in that system by the expression F equals to minus du by dx. But can we only find the value of force by this equation? Not. We can, this expression also signifies more things. That is this expression can be used to express or to understand the stable and unstable equilibrium. That is the equilibrium conditions of the system. So what is that? Suppose we are considering uh, the simple harmonic oscillator a simple harmonic oscillator. So we know that for a simple harmonic oscillator, the <coughs> potential energy U can be expressed as half k x square, half k x square. So if we plot the x versus U graph for a simple harmonic oscillator, by this, by this equation, we can easily uh, understand that the uh, graph of this equation will be a parabola as u is, uh, u is proportional to x square. So the graph will be a parabola like this. So suppose uh, this is our x axis, the horizontal and vertically we have taken the potential energy u. So this is the potential energy curve. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for various points uh, of x axis, there is a potential energy, right? So, we are taking three points. Number one is C, that is the origin of the parabola. Number two is a point rightward, that is suppose A, and a point leftward, that is suppose B, this. Now, we will, uh, we will understand some concepts relating this three points. So, for the point A, you can easily see, you can easily uh, see that for this point A, the tangent to this curve at point A is this and this makes an angle theta which is less than 90 degree here. So, we can easily say that here tan theta is greater than 0, that is tan theta is positive, that is slope of the curve here is positive for point A. So, and we know that the slope of the uh, slope of uh, the curve is nothing but du dx, right? So here, tan theta uh, tan theta is greater than zero. That is, du by dx is greater than zero. And from this expression, we know that f equals to minus du by dx. So here, f is less than zero. That is, f here the force is negative. And for this point B. This is for point A and for this point B, if we uh, again draw a tangent to this point B at this curve, so uh, we can easily understand that this uh, here, the tangent makes an angle theta with the positive of x axis where the theta is angle uh, which is greater than 90 degrees. So here the tan theta will be less than 0 that is tan theta is negative that is slope uh, slope at this point is negative that is du by dx here will be negative and from this expression we can again say that as du by dx is negative so f will be positive that is here the force is greater than 0 and for this point c for this point c as this is the minimum of this curve so we can easily uh, easily uh, say that here du by dx at c du by dx is 0. So f here the force acting on a particle at the point c is 0. That is if a particle if a particle uh, 
at point if a particle is situated at point c the particle will uh, experience no force that is the particle will be at rest at the point c but if a particle is at point a so what happens so we have seen that f is negative here so negative means that is uh, negative means at point a the force is directed along this along this direction negative of x axis right so the force is toward the origin of the uh, parabola toward the origin of the parabola c and if we uh, if you see the uh, case of b point b so here for point b the force is positive so here the force is towards the positive x direction right towards the positive x direction and here also the force uh, will tend to the origin c that is uh, i mean to say that if the particle is displaced from its origin to this uh, to leftward like point b so the particle will uh, experience a force which will move the particle to its origin and if the uh, particle is displaced uh, in right world like point a then the force is towards leftward that is then also the particle uh, experience a force that will move the particle towards the center uh, towards the origin that is point c as the, um, the okay this will be seen and we have seen that at point c the force is zero right so the particle will be raised at point c so the particle is stable we can say that uh, say that the particle is stable at point c as there is no force f equals to zero and the particle at a or the particle at point b will be not stable will not be stable and uh, there also uh, will be a force which will act towards which will act to move the particle to uh, take it to move it towards the stable point so we can say that for this uh, system for this system c is the point of stable equilibrium okay it is clear that c is the point of equilibrium as here f equals to zero so f equals to zero but we we are i am uh, saying that this is a stable equilibrium okay i will gradually move to that point that why i am saying this uh, point to be a stable point stable equilibrium but firstly we have to, have to concrete this this idea that for a system where the potential in the uh, derivative of the potential energy is zero that is this where the derivative of the potential energy is zero at that point the force is zero and at that point the equilibrium occurs so for a system the where the um, potential energy curve is maximum or minimum at the positions of maximum of minimum the they, they are the positions these are the positions of the equilibrium now we will discuss why i am saying this point to a stable equilibrium point and we will also discuss the unstable equilibrium and all the conditions and concepts behind this suppose we are considering a pendulum of length oa oa equals to l and supporting a mass small m this is l this is the length l so this length will be ob will be l cos theta so the, the length of ab this length this length ab will be l into 1 minus cos theta this is l minus l cos theta that is l into 1 minus cos theta so the potential energy what is uh, which is a function of theta here will be equal to mgh that is mgl 1 minus cos theta mgl 1 minus cos theta so its derivative that is du by dx will be mgl sin theta so we can easily say that du by dx will be 0 at theta equals to 0 degree and at theta equals to pi right so uh, if we put these two values here so we can see that du by dx will be 0 and we have previously discussed that when du by dx equals to 0 
that is uh, we have discussed the minimum point of the curve of that curve of uh, harmonic oscillator uh, there occurs uh, when du by ds is zero uh, at that point occurs the equilibrium point so we can say that here uh, here is two equilibrium points at theta equals to zero and theta equals to pi so what is the difference between these two equilibrium points we will see this now so at theta equals to zero the pendulum will be hanging the pendulum will, will be hanging downward oa along oa along the line oa so you can easily say that it will be at this position for uh, as long as you can see it that is for uh, whole time uh, the pendulum will be at this position that is at along the oa along the line oa that is we can say from here that this position the position a uh, that is uh, when theta equals to zero the system is in equilibrium and the equilibrium is what the stable equilibrium right the equilibrium is stable equilibrium and when theta equals to pi when theta equals to pi we will see that the mass then the mass m will be suspended along the vertical line and the mass will be at suppose this position suppose c position here will be the mass m so you can easily understand that here also the mass will rest here also the mass will be at rest but for a minimum time for a minimum time and time and after that the mass will be for the mass will fall downwards right so from here from this physical concept we can say that at uh, theta equals to pi the equilibrium equilibrium is not stable that is the equilibrium is unstable so we can say that th at theta equals to zero the equilibrium is stable and at theta equals to pi the equilibrium is not stable that is unstable so here the potential energy curve will be like this here at this point the this is the direction of increasing theta and this is the direction this is the direction of increasing potential energy u so at this point theta is zero and at the highest point theta is pi why we can easily uh, see this curve by plotting pi and theta into this equation u of theta mgl into one minus cos theta you will see that this uh, graph will be satisfied by this equation and this is 2 pi this is 2 pi so from here we have seen that at theta equals to pi the system is in unstable equilibrium unstable equilibrium so at theta equals to pi that is at this point that is at the uh, peak point of the potential energy that is the maximum of the potential energy at the maximum of the potential energy the uh, system is uh, at an unstable equilibrium right the system is at unstable equilibrium unstable and at theta equals to zero we have seen uh, that at theta equals to zero the system is in stable equilibrium this is stable so at theta equals to zero where the potential energy is lower this is lowest the potential energy is minimum here the system is in stable equilibrium that is from this uh, from this configurations and concepts we can easily say that the potential energy at the maximum of the potential energy at the maximum of the potential energy the system is always at unstable equilibrium and at the minimum of the potential energy the system is in a stable equilibrium so the conclusion of this whole concept is that the minimum of a potential energy curve is a point of stable equilibrium and the maximum of the potential energy curve that is the maximum of the potential energy curve is a point of unstable equilibrium so i think that you have understood the whole concept of stable and unstable equilibrium with the help of the potential energy curve so if you are really benefited by this video so uh, like this video share this video more and more to your friends that they will be helpful 
and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications of my videos. So take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.